cold, wet pavements outside the sumo hall today. I wish I'd known the precise time of that board meeting, then I wouldn't have spent quite so long on them. Only these random shots of wrestlers to show for my efforts, I'm afraid. We wish them well in the upcoming tournament, which today was given the go-ahead for November the 8th. As with the previous two, it will take place in this very Kokugikan. But now, with spectator numbers doubled from 2,500 to 5,000. Despite the virus being far from defeated on these shores, with even nearly 10% of wrestlers infected, Olympic-facing Japan's official line is, we're all germaphobes, so don't worry about it. Well, for Sumo's sake, I really hope they're right. Box seats are now being sold for two people, not one. The price has more than doubled, so I'll be shunning them. Chair seats are to go on sale next week. Whereas sets of three chairs were taped off like this last time, now only every other chair will be taped. Kokugikan staff do try hard with all their infection prevention measures, I must add. However, continuing to hold all admissions until 1pm, rather than let people naturally come in a staggered fashion, is going to lead to, I fear, too many people queuing up for too long, and missing lots more matches to get through temperature checks. Well, let's just hope that if something clearly isn't working, they have the decency to change it. Just one other bit of news today, quite concerning actually. Nakamura Oyakata, the former Yoshikaze, is suing his hometown of Saiki, Oita Prefecture, for damages related to the loss of his wrestling career. It turns out, that terrible right ankle injury he suffered in June last year was during a PR exercise for Saiki City, which involved canyoning. Well, you know how sumo wrestlers love a crazy thrill. It's hard to talk them out of such things. Although Yoshikaze stressed he had not turned on his hometown at his retirement conference last year, attempts to reconcile out of court failed, resulting in the current suit. The mayor promised he'd do all he could to help, you see, he said last year. We hope this issue is resolved as soon as possible. Samoa really needs all its brains and brawn focused on getting through this pandemic right now.